or designing environments which is going to be perfect or a good fit for the worker at the workstation. To be able to do that, we first need to define the user population. Once the user population is defined, we take a small set of the user population and call them the sample set. And then we use, in, uh, the, this is an anthropometric kit. These rods which you see out here are the anthropometers. Be very careful with these instruments because they are precision instruments and we need to take care of them. For example, this is the one which comes with the stand. So this, the, I need one of your to help We uh, need to uh, match the measurements of these rods fix up the rods so that it becomes easy for us to take measurements. Right? So this is how we create the anthropometer. We will have to match the measurements which you can see out here. These are all in centimeters. And then it is used for the Once we build up on the whole set of the anthropometer, it can be used, for example, with the slider over here. We use it like this with the slider. So that measurements can be read. A rod out here, which will be able, which we need for example, if we require a hip length. So we find out the hip joint of the person and then to the corresponding we record the units in centimeters. So this way there are two kinds of anthropometric data that can be taken. One which is static data. When we say static data, it always has a fixed reference point such as the ground. And when we say dynamo meters or dynamic measurements, we use these kind of dynamo meters. Right? This is the grip strength. Will I show you only demonstrate it? Have the subject who is whose measurement has to be taken stand straight with her feet together. Give her the dynamometer and ensure that this is at zero. Let the person look straight and pull to your full mind. There are three readings that have to be taken so that the average of it will be the grip strength of her right hand. In this case, it is 20 kg square per meter. Yeah. Similarly, you will have to take it to take a reading for her left hand. Three readings and then the average. So you get the grip strength of the right hand and the grip strength of the left hand. These are very useful when you are designing controls. You can find out according to human capacity. For example, if you are trying to do knobs which are for safety purposes, which will have to be pulled so that the engine stops or the machine stops, then you have to take the fifth percentile strength so that every single operator will be able to pull the tap and stop the machine. This is the pinch dynamometer which is required for operating small machines. So here we calculate the pinch strength. Okay, so the pinch strength over here is 2.4 in her case. Is that clear? So this is the strength of her pinch. Again, these are used for designing buttons as well as any kind of control where the pin strength is required for pulling or pushing. This dynamometer is called as the back strength dynamometer. There is a lock which has to be used for keeping this thing together. Make the subject stand with bare foot, ensure that this is at zero and make sure that this is at elbow high. Pull it up. Pull it up as much as you can. Done? Can you do the reading? This is the reading. Okay. Then, so her back straight. 
strength is 10 kg which means it is very low in comparison with the normal range. So a lot of back strengthening exercises have to be recommended so that the employee can give his best effort or his best in at, at workplace. We earlier had a good back strength capacity. So it is not always the body height and weight that determines the back strength. What is the reading? 15. So definitely it shows that her back strength capacity is much higher than subject A. These are uh, reference anthro man in two sizes and this is the reference anthro hand. When uh, anthropometry is being taught in the class, what we need to do is use these as reference points. For example, door width is to be calculated. In that case, then you take the reference point as the shoulder. So from shoulder to shoulder is called as bite deltoid. So you use the two rods, right? And use the measured tape to calculate the width. Similarly, when you are designing handheld devices, you will require the reference hand. So in this you will realize that to be able, for example, to design a mobile or a remote control, you require the remote to be lesser than the width of the user's hand. And because the remote is bigger, we have a person. So for the remote has to be very wide, then it will be difficult. So if this is perfect, for example, if you are designing a remote control for a TV, you have to ensure that the hand can completely grip the device. And we require pinch strength to know how much of force we require to operate the remote. The other mechanisms such as the sensor, how does it work, the electronic circuit is done by engineers. That's not our purview. As ergonomists and as anthropometry experts, we require to have body dimension so that such products can be used. So this is a correlation between good fit, product design and ergonomics.